The challenge mode in Injustice 2 is a pretty significant departure from how challenge mode worked in Injustice 1, although it does bear some resemblances, which we'll talk about here. Right, because it looks like there's three modes. There's an easy mode, a hard mode, and a nightmare mode. Yeah, but you're looking for a character that uh, takes 160 shards to even get the first level of. Um, so easy, or I guess difficulty 1, costs 6 stamina, and you get 1 shard per fight you win. Uh, hard costs 12 stamina, you get 2 shards per fight you win there. And Nightmare costs 18 stamina, or difficulty 2 and 3, I guess. Uh, technically in Injustice 2 lingo. but uh, And you probably get 3 shards, but we'll never know, because when, you'll see what we mean. It looks like it's just basically too hard to try with how good the uh, enemy is. Yeah, so maybe we'll figure out eventually, but definitely not right now. So the challenge lasts three days, or at least this one does, right? Um, yeah, because this is actually what I want to point out too, that this just showed up. Yeah, this is the first challenge. Like, you have to get to a certain level to unlock it first with your account, but the for a while they were saying coming soon. Yeah, so once we hit the level. So the challenge lasts three days from what we know right now. Uh, there are two fights available at each difficulty level every 24 hour period and you can buy another two fights for 50 gems uh, max three buy-ins per period right mm -hmm. uh, based off of some quick math if you can't finish nightmare but finish every free fight and pay for every buy-in you'll get 24 shards per day at a cost of 144 stamina and 300 gems so over the course of the three-day challenge or at least the three-day challenge as we understand it right we don't know for sure we might we're gonna get more information obviously the longer we play um and the longer the game's out but that's 72 shards which is way off the 160 shards needed to unlock the character right mm -hmm. that's less than half and that's a cost of 900 gems and 432 stamina yeah so that's only 900 gems directly because 432 stamina you're going to be paying for more buy-ins each day to get 144 stamina per day. Yeah, you can do that. so that, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, that's a lot of time, and you don't even end up with a character. So I'm assuming that we're, we're missing some crucial piece of information about how this is going to be less crappy. Like or, maybe the challenges cycle, or maybe they last more than three days when they're in full swing normally. Yeah, or maybe it's just that kind of grindy where they're expecting people to play for years before they get it so you can see this i mean the second level the hard level even with what's death's dead shot he's like uh three star gold four star gold four star gold and he's uh pretty decent level i think somewhere around 30 or just shy of 30 and we're managing this but i think well we'll see once we get through this fight maybe we'll scrub through this fight and show you that on um nightmare the threat level and the stats on the other team are just ridiculous they're like twice as hard or twice as strong as our team yeah what's crazy about this is when you look at it the fact that um we're we're essentially the, our calculations involve spending uh like a huge amount of gems right mm -hmm. our calculations involve essentially paying real money so that's already several times as many character shards for the challenge as you would get just from playing for free yeah and even with that even with paying like really through the through the nose right that's right? All, like more than 15 bucks yeah you still don't actually even get enough shards to get one challenge character which is crazy and that's one star. That's the first level. Or three stars. Sorry. It starts at three stars. Oh, sorry. It starts at three stars. Sorry. That's getting them to three stars. Yeah, my mistake. Uh, and, and we know that getting them up to higher than that is going to cost more shards, probably, right? Mm -hmm. Than the basic level. So just being able to upgrade this character to max at all seems like... Getting them seems like it would take, like, m like sets and sets and sets of this, right? Mm -hmm. Um three sets even if you're uh, paying money and way more than three sets if you're not right which yeah. is kind of wild mm -hmm. it's definitely not the beginner boost that it was in injustice yeah. one so i mean that's really like a huge kind of paywall yeah for anybody who wants free to play i don't know what do you think i mean to me that that's kind of discouraging i think it's totally discouraging so this is uh yeah Let's do a difficulty three. 18, fight. well, we won't do it. So their th team threat level is more than double ours. And you see based on both the level and the star, they were like ridiculously outmatching us. Yeah, so that's not a fight that we're going to be able to win. 
yeah, I mean, for somebody with the tech advantage, we don't really have anybody strong enough. So that's one of the other things with the classes. It, it'll, I mean, in theory, it would be good to build up guys in different classes in practice because it's so hard to get the different heroes. You don't really have a lot of choice. It's basically who you get unless you're willing to spend a lot of money again. Yeah, so it sucks because it looks like they, they put a lot of work into this game. Right? Like, they, they reworked a lot of systems from Injustice 1 that they didn't need to. They made a lot of changes, but... Actually, what we'll do is we'll save that for our next and last in this original primer, which is story mode and our final thoughts on Injustice 2 compared to Injustice 1. So there you go. You might hear that idea come up again in the last video, but maybe fleshed out a little bit more. Soft spot. 